Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We are on Highway 52 heading north. This is scenic Highway 52 heading north. We are cutting up through West Virginia. We're going to go up through the old coal mine towns along this route. I found this online. It's uh, a scenic highway plus they call it Coal Heritage Trail. This section here we're going to do about 33 miles of it cutting up through these towns. The ratings are through the roof on it. Should be a cool ride. Hope you enjoy it. It's already starting off good. Blue sky. Temperatures right in the 60s. It's supposed to be uh, getting close to 80 up here today. The weather is definitely picking up. So along US 52 from Bluefield, we're going to go up to a little town called Welch. Once again, it's 33 miles. And then from Welch, we'll take county roads. We're going to cut over to another community, or actually big town, called Beckley. We are trucking north, heading north through West Virginia. Going to end up clear up in Pennsylvania. Cool. It's already starting out pretty. Look at the house on the hill. Green grass, trees. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but I'm from the desert. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Is that a horse? Look at this guy. Oh no, he's running. Look at him go. Run, little buddy. Hope he stays in this lane. Looks like he can get past that guardrail. He'll be okay. Heck, he's doing 20 miles an hour. <laughs> he's moving. There he goes. He's off the road. Wow. Look at him go. Oh man, welcome to West Virginia. <laughs> cool. Here we go, Coaldale. This, all these communities are kind of connected. They say it's part of the old historic coal mining industrial age way back when Coal mining was just everywhere. Probably still is. But look how they built the houses right on the road. Of course, this road probably wasn't like this back in the day. I'm sure it wasn't. Very scenic. We're kind of running along uh, through a canyon. Big old... Uh, cliffs on both sides of us. There's a waterway down below, train track, and houses are just stuffed everywhere back up behind those trees. Okay, here's another little town. Look at these old time homes. They're still being lived in. No parking. That's what's getting me about West Virginia, these roads. They're parking in the lawn there. Telephone poles are right next to the road, right in their front lawn. <laughs> Not much real estate. White picket fence. Here you go, big old church. Look at that. Let me get this guy around me. He's right on my tail. Go on, little buddy. I'm going slow. <laughs> what a cool old town. Hey, bunch of trailers. Old RV park. ATV resort. I keep seeing that. 
everybody's got an ATV here. I see them on the roads, being pulled on trailers, ATV resorts, instead of RV parks. There's a little food mart. They got ATV resorts. I bet the trails are phenomenal. Getting up in these mountains. Oh, cool. There's a train going across the bridge here. I bet those trains just echo through these uh, hills here. This house after house. Look, that guy has parked across the road. Wonder how old these are. They got to date back into what, 20s and 30s, I bet. Once again, this is a scenic byway. It's actually called the Cole Heritage Trail. This is US Highway 52. We're cutting up through uh, West Virginia. Beautiful West Virginia. I found this online. If you search out scenic byway highways in every state, they list them. And you'll find these scenic byways. They're all over the place. Some are short. Some are only a couple miles long, and you get ones like the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is almost 500 miles. Absolutely amazing. So look for them. They're everywhere. When you do your RV travels, I highly recommend it. Down over that edge, there's some kind of mining equipment or... Looks like they load railroad cars down there. These hills could talk, huh? Goodness. Beautiful trees. What a nice drive. Okay, what do we got up here? We stay on 52 straight ahead looks good should be another town coming up here pretty decent road not too beat up I'm sure they get winter here snow and ice Back roads and small towns. Look how each house looked the same there. Track homes back in the day. There's Lucky's gas station. Cool. Definitely, you can. This is small town USA for sure. little towns are almost connected it's only a mile or so between them that old mobile home had seen its day if you ever get in this neck of the world this is a definite drive for you another church each of these little communities have a nice church how cool is that Right here's the town of North Fork, West Virginia. Flag flying, train tracks. See, ATVs are hauling them there. ATV resorts. Fire department right there on the right. I think this one's a pretty good sized town. Another church, house on the hill, 
How'd you like to mow that lawn? Look how steep it is. <laughs> what a cool community. And this is still US 52. We're kind of trucking north, northwest a little bit. When we get that town. Oh, look at that. Olds, Oldsmobile Chevrolet Cadillac. Huh. Must have been a car dealer. A lot of these buildings are closed up. Not too many of them are open anymore. There's a motel. I gotta stop here. Let's stop. I gotta show you these uh, houses. Look how they're up on the hill. Let me get parked. We'll get a picture of these. Look at these things. They're up there. Look at uh, the growth around the building. All that climbing plants just all over it. Those windows are busted out of that one. So someone must be abandoned. And over there there's a diner, buffet, big boys, and a dollar store. The dinner bucket. Big boys, family dollar. I bet that's a popular place. And more buildings. See, they're all kind of closed up. All closed down. Probably in the day these streets were packed. Full of miners. Families, kids. Small town USA in West Virginia. Another little restaurant there. They must all park in the street. I'll be darn. Cool. Pure rock walls. You see little chunks of rock laying in the road. They just cut this road right through here. Probably back in the day, it dynamited right through it. Two big old excavators sitting there right alongside of the road. nice railroad tracks right here yeah I bet when them trains roll through here they really echo that'll rock you to sleep and there's a medical place ambulance look at the size of some of these homes though they're huge absolutely huge Another big old brick building. History. This is all history. Here we go. This must be downtown. Wow, look at this. Look how close to the road it is. I keep saying that, but just amazing. Ah, look at the kids. Probably waiting for a school bus. I'll be darn gas station. Quick stop. Just brick building after brick building. 
North Fork, West Virginia. Perfect day, perfect ride. Look how some of the lawns are just manicured. Perfect. Alright, we think we're getting into that last town, Welch. West Virginia. We're going to be leaving 52 up here pretty quick. Yep, here's a split in the road. 52 will continue on to the left, but we're going to pick up, I think it's like County Road 16. 16 North. So there's 52 so long. What a nice ride. Family Dollar. This is a pretty good sized town here, I think. Back road, small towns. Have you ever seen architecture right on a street like this? I know I keep saying it. It's so cool looking. Mow the lawn, flowers on the porch. Just to have a front porch to sit on. Watch the world go by. Some of these places are absolutely like a mansion. Then way up on the hill you can see little houses tucked in up there. How they get up there, my goodness. No wonder they got ATVs here. State Farm Insurance building there. Yeah, some of it's pretty modern. We're in Welch, pretty good sized town. Another truck. Not a lot of room in these roads for big trucks. Okay, we're staying on 16. This looks like their downtown district. Nice. Welch Municipal Building. Wow. Perfect. What I need to do here, make a right. We're staying on 16 North. There's DB's. DB's Lounge right there. <laughs> Stop and get a cold one. Citizen Drug Store. Old bank. Probably the courthouse is down here somewhere. Yep. Courthouse. Knew it. <laughs> Downtown Welch. Look how high up. I mean, you got to be in pretty good shape just to hike up to your front door. <laughs> Oh, cool. Okay, what do we got here? 16 trucks. So, ooh, ooh, nine foot clearance. I won't make that. Nine foot. Oh, it's 12 foot off to the left. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That would have taken the top of the van off. What a beautiful ride, beautiful communities, what a state. Coal Heritage Trail, US 52 Scenic Byway. 
Put that on your bucket list. What a ride for 33 miles. My goodness. Okay, now we're heading over to a town called Beckley on this uh, 16. Talk soon.